raised to show you that are all going out and sold. And tonight, look what we have. These are Centauri's only two cabaret games that we know that they made in their limited run. I believe they were only open for four years, 80 to 84. And uh, Eagle is their first release. And August of 1980, I think it was. That's Afterburner. That's a later video. Anyway, uh, uh, Eagle was manufactured in this size, which they actually call a Maxi. I'm not quite sure because I would call this a Mini. Then they have the full size and then the cocktail. And from what we gather, they only made uh, under 2,500 of all of them together. So the run of the cabarets has got to be very low. And I captured this one. I only saw one other in all these years. I don't remember the history either. But uh, I kept thinking there's got to be more cabarets. But nope. I have the full. Uh, this is first. Second one was a game called Challenger, which I never saw. The third game was Phoenix. And the fourth game I got in the other room, a full size. Right, Route 16. And then, of course, they went on, I think one of their last games was Track and Field. They have some rare ones, too. Asterac, a lot of people are looking for. But once again, they're full size. You're never going to get a chance to see Phoenix or Eagle together. But the new owner that's buying both of them, he'll have pictures, too, because he's getting them both. Uh, we chose to keep the original black tea molding on this, and we put blue on this one. And I think he did that because there was so much blue, and there was so much black, I don't know. But, come around back. Okay, now we have the light, Tammy. I want to show you the inside here. We have a uh, board set is mounted in a cage, just like it was in the upright. Two boards connected by a ribbon cable, and we have an extra board down there for our customer. Uh, we tried to pack, what I tried to do is to put a, an extra board in every machine in case one fails. So he now has an extra. And right up here, new power supply, monitor's been rebuilt with new caps. And uh, I did that a number of years ago, I think, but I had it in the garage, Tommy. Phoenix has been around with me since the years of our garage. Yes, back at the old house. Now, board construction is different on this one, and I have an extra set because this was the original look uh, way they had the boards. See how it has like a an extra, like a uh, piggyback board on there, similar to Galaxian. But the power supply right there on the top, handy dandy, and an extra board. And there's a manual in there, Tommy, and it looks like the monitor was replaced. Yes, it's a new Wells Garner. 47,000. Oh, that's nice. Nice plus. The wood green cabinet's in great shape. Look. Look at how beautiful it is. Really, really nice. Look on this side, too. So really nice. Came out nice. Now, interestingly enough, just like in the Exidy games, this top part was metal. And my guess is they figured their customers. You know, we're going to be playing it like this, and they probably peel off the tea molding or whatever was there. No more key. It's part of the overlay. No light, just the coin lights. These did not have free play mode, so we had to put our credits on. You'll notice that this is very similar. To Mooncrestor. Yes. It's almost identical to Mooncrestor. Very, very differences, huh? I can't play it. I can't play any of these games well. I always like the sound now. So did one company license it from the other or what happened here? Because I believe Mooncrestor also came out the same year. Doing pretty good, aren't I, Tommy? One more hit. 
Nope, didn't get it. One more, Tammy. Now this game had a neat feature where you can dock your ship and then get extra firepower. So you never say you only have one ship without a guy to shoot. Get an extra ship. And I can use my button to slow myself down. Oh gosh. <laughs> no bonus. I crashed, Tommy. People are gonna think I'm stupid. <laughs> I always like that noise when I see a little. Uh, Let's see how everything kind of curls in on itself. But now, I'm going to have more firepower. Look. But I'm also fatter and an easier target to hit. better. I always like that nice classic solving music as it starts. Watch how I destroy the ball coming. Now, of course, a lot of people like the egg sequence in this. Now, the first rack is very slow until the uh, birds regroup. Green moves fast and then it regroups. I get more rapid fire now, of course, on second screen. And then we'll regroup again, and now we have the bird scene. Stuff. Game over. 
Now very nicely to have a on off switch right here in the back. Easy for the kids and everybody else to get to. Always love the fact that it made that screaming sound when you first turn it on. I don't think this does that. This makes a little beep. Two more. That's right. Our next two in our number. So we are now moving on back to the shop. We're going to film some more stuff there. And our next video, we're going to show some more rarities. Good night for here, and we'll see you at the shop. Now, we have an interesting tale to tell you. Well, Gil Warden came into TNT Amusements on May 27th in 1988 and bought an ice cold beer from us for $300. And this man, Tom, was seven years old. I love that game. And I wanted to come here for a birthday party as soon okay. as I got that game. That's right, and he had his party here. Because you know, we've been doing parties here for a long time, since 87 actually. So a year after you got your ice cold beer, we had been doing parties. When I, I came here for a birthday party and for a friend's birthday party from Camp America Day Camp, and I was addicted to this game when I played. So, two, three years later, his stepdad, Tom Weaver, bought this from us. Here we are, Comet, 11-23-1990 for $1,399, plus tax, and free. And, free. <laughs> and it was the greatest Christmas gift ever. His father put it away in the closet because I marked on here that the warranty starts on 12-25, which is Christmas Day. But he got it uh, two days before Thanksgiving because the father wanted wow, to make sure early. he had it. He got it a month early. He was now, on top of his stuff. He was on top of it. He, he planned ahead. See, that's a sign of a good planner. Now, all of the stuff we sell in December, everything, instead of 30 days, we guarantee everything for free service and parts to the end of January. So even, because we figure some people go away for the holiday. So if his father had picked it up for a Christmas present, we would have said, don't worry, everything's free until the end of January. Now, according to the card, he never needed us to come out to the house to fix it. And I noticed that his father was very handy, his stepfather, because he was doing some repairs. Oh, that would be me, actually. Oh, <laughs> oh probably my dad as well. And, oh, you're oh, in the Air Force. Yeah, that was me. He's an, he was an officer in the Air Force. He is now, you're, are you actually retired? I was retired from the military, yes, for medical reasons. But oh, okay. I'm still a federal say, employee. He's still, he's still a kid. Because <laughs> you're only 35. And, and back then, it lo looks like there's the manual. Anyway, he's selling his beautiful game back because you're now in an apartment in Center City. Center Wait a minute. City. Wait a minute. I just thought of something. Jonathan, no, no, no. let me get this. <laughs> this is going to drive all my competitors nuts because he can now have his party here because we're best of Philly for grown-up parties mm. without the beer. I was going to say, you got to get a liquor license for that, but... Uh... Without I can't wait beer. till you guys refurb this back to well, awesome. Comment, and then I'll come and play it. This comet, it, it's actually in, in very nice shape. We're going to have to go over the inserts. And the rubbers have held up. But you changed the rubbers I once did change twice? the just once. Okay, so just he went once. through the rubbers. And in the back, I think we have... Still double A batteries. I, I replaced all the burned out light bulbs. Good. I think there might be a couple back uh, in, in Look, here. We got, we got power. The very best in the world, power cells. <laughs> they haven't leaked. Thank goodness you've been changing them. I swapped them out. See, a lot of people well. weren't changing them and blowing yeah. up their games. Oh my God, they ruined the board. Anyway, another comet. I think we, how many do we have now? Three? Something like that, two or three. We need some cyclones. <laughs> so, oh yeah, that was the Williams that came out after the comet, and then, right? And the yeah. hurricane. hurricane. We have a hurricane. Yeah, they had the three roller the hurricane. Do we yeah, have a we hurricane have that just yeah. came in. Hurricane just came in. But now, wait a minute, should I? I should give him the course. What did I do? Oh, here they are. Since, since he sold us back the Comet, we we're going to let him have the Roller Deck. For nostalgia. <laughs> but I'm nostalgia. keeping, they still own the ice cold beer. We do. So Played this it in Florida in the a couple weeks line. ago. Do you know we have, we have almost 14,000 of these Roller Decks cards. I think I have more Roller Decks cards than anybody in the nation. And still using it. You saw me? Yep, you pulled it out. Automatic. Who uses computers? 
Listen, the search engine is... Hey, these are my search... <laughs> anyway, isn't that a great piece of nostalgia? Now, he better come back and buy something. Hmm. We'll make your game... When I get beautiful. out of the, the small apartment in the city, you bet your pants I will. Yeah, it's hard to have a game in, in an apartment. But you can have a party here. Anyway, let's let's move on. We'll go back to work. Thank you for coming in. My pleasure. Tom, Thanks for buying it back for me. He's going to be a happy, happy parties here. Day. This is what, what hooked me 26, 28 yeah, years ago. All those years ago. 28 years ago well, was that first well, one. Well, I can tell you, we do have a closing date. We are absolutely TNT is closing forever, forever, in 2090. <laughs> so I am operating for 80 more years. Uh, and I am done. <laughs> I'll make him like 200 well, years old. No, right? <laughs> I, I will be officially 140 years old, and I am done. I'm retiring at that point. But Jonathan, you you can retire at 100. Nice. Fair enough. <laughs> I think we got ourselves a good video here. A little bit of nostalgia. Uh, it's good to be and, back. And to a TNT. lot of sarcasm. Uh, Thanks for watching, folks. Good night.